channel if you are new here hi my name is Liz so this video is I'm super excited because I haven't uploaded a video because I did get a facial and I got the micro needing facial and with that facial I can't wear makeup like around a week and then I start peeling so I didn't want to put anything on my face because it just it was just gonna look weird with my face peeling so I've actually had this here sitting for two weeks and I'm so excited to try it but I just wanted to wait so I can do a video and show you guys what I think about this so without further ado what are we talking about we are talking about the new morphe foundation so I did pick up um, a few stuff that they were selling actually I picked up a few stuff so let me just get this out of the way so you all know that Morphe came out with a new foundation well with a new primer he came out they came out with a new foundation um, a finishing powder and what's the other one a concealer so I did purchase these and then I just got extra like lip liners because I really like their lip liners and also they sent me this little card right here which if this shade doesn't match me which I already kind of saw it I mean I don't know if this is really gonna match me I mean we're gonna have to see but if it doesn't match they did send me this little card that you can try your color and then that way you know your shade okay so I, I have my little paper right here so they can tell me the prices I don't know if these prices are right but I think they are because that's what they sent me so I'm gonna go with this these prices right here okay so first of all I already moisturized my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and do my primer so I did pick up the morphe primer and this is they have two of them so I got the revitalizer I just figured since I wanted more hydration because this foundation is a full coverage and it's a mask I just figured I wanted more hydration rather than pore filling and all of that so what this primer okay so this is what the primer looks like decent size and this has this this has 0 0.067 fluid ounces so it is smaller than I think a regular primer I don't have one right here so this is what it looks like and the primer retails for bum, bum, bum. it says $12 so I'm gonna go with $12 so the primer retails for four for $12 so this is just what it looks like and it does look white on right here but I think it's just the packaging so I'm gonna put yep it's white so this is what it looks like it's just a white consistency so I'm gonna see how it feels like oh it's kind of thick and it doesn't it has a scent but it's not a strong scent it smells like moisturizer like a regular moisturizer lotion that's what it smells like so I'm gonna apply it all the way so my face is still a little bit red from that facial but I'm okay because I love my skin afterwards so I really like that facial. So now that I have the primer I am going to go right in with the foundation and this is what the packaging looks like right here and I did choose the shade F2.20. Um, they have on their website like if you're neutral your cool tones if you have peachy undertones and all of that so I just went with what I thought I was so this is what the actual packaging looks like and this retails for $18 I thought I saw they had it for $16 at Ulta so I might be wrong it says 18 here but I'm pretty sure it's 16 I will double check that for you guys so this is what it looks like and this has one fluid ounce full so it's like any other foundation almost all foundations have one fluid ounce 
okay so it is a squeezy tube and what I'm gonna do since I do apply my foundation with a beauty sponge I think I'm gonna do this side with a beauty sponge and why not use the Morphe beauty sponge since we're already using Morphe stuff and for this side I'm going to be using a flat um, buffing brush and this is the Morphe M6 if you own the Morphe Y6 which Laura talks about all the time they discontinued the gilded collection which was the gold um, the gold packaging kind of like this packaging they discontinued that one but they made it on the regular morphe handle so if you have the y6 and you want to buy another one and you can't find it this is the exact same thing they just did this new so it's exactly the same thing so i'm going to be doing this side with a beauty sponge and this side with a brush just to see how it applies and everything so let's go ahead and test if this color doesn't match we're just going to have to go with it because, ooh, I think I applied too much because I think this um, foundation is a full coverage foundation. So I'm going to start with it and hopefully it matches. Mm, it doesn't look that bad, so hopefully it's going to be good. I don't want to apply too much because I don't know how. Oh, wow. Okay, right off the bat. It doesn't match my skin so that's good it is full coverage and it is matte so let me just apply this I don't want to apply too much because I do like a matte foundation but I don't like it when it looks cakey so I do like a matte foundation and a full coverage foundation but if it looks cakey Mm -mm. I am not liking it so let's hope this works out because I was so excited to try it let me just get close so far I like it I have this little red patch right here um I got that when they did the micro needling facial so I'm going to see if I can put this on top to just cover it. My face is still healing you guys so it does take time. I'm going to apply a little bit more right here because I do have minor rosacea so I do have some redness peeking through so I'm just going to be applying a little bit there. So far the foundation does match me exactly it's like exactly my shade um i'm not seeing any creasing or anything it is a full coverage and it is matte so i'm gonna go ahead and try it with the brush to see how it applies i usually use a beauty sponge but sometimes i do like to use brushes so let me just see a lot of you do like to use foundations with brushes so I'm just going so I'm just buffing this into my skin It looks almost the same. Yeah, it looks almost the same with a brush or without a brush. I mean with a sponge. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more coverage here where my redness is picking through and on my nose. Wow. This is super full coverage, but as of right now, it does not look cakey at all. Okay, so now that we have that on, I am liking this foundation. I am seeing that it's kind of oxidizing. I don't know if you guys see that, but this is 
where I started the where I started to put the foundation and then as I blended it this is the other one so as you guys can see it does oxidize a little bit so I'm hoping it doesn't go um, darker on my skin because if not it's not going to match if not we we'll just have to work with it but as of right now I don't see it changing on my skin so now we are going to be moving on to a concealer. They came out with concealers as well. So this is what the package looks like right here. And the concealer retails for $9. That is so cheap. I think it's like a drugstore concealer. Some drugstore concealers are even more pricey than this. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just a packaging. It kind of looks like the liquid lipstick packaging. So I got it on the shade, where's the shade? C1.65. And it says soft matte. And this has 0.15 fluid ounces. So for reference, let me see how much the Tarte Shape Tape has. 0.3381 fluid ounces. That is so confusing when they add a lot of numbers confusing but I'm pretty sure the Tarte Shape Tape has a little bit more than this one so let me just open it to see how it looks like and it's oh it's like a flat doe food applicator and this is the shade right here let's hope it matches me it looks a little bit peachy but we're just gonna have to go with it oh it actually it's not that bad so I think I put a lot because it says it's a full coverage but I'm so used to putting this much okay that's it I'm not gonna add any more and then I'm going to be blending it with my beauty blender it does feel kind of sticky and wow this is extremely full coverage I really like the shade it's not that dark but it is not that bright it is blending so good I actually like it a lot let me just blend this I am noticing that it's drying quicker than a regular concealer so you do have to work pretty fast because if not it's going to be drying pretty quick but I do like this coverage oh, wow okay the only thing that Morphe did not get out new is a under eye setting powder but I do believe they have a translucent one it looks kind of like clear white I know they have one of those but I don't have it I only got the setting powder so I don't want to set with this setting powder under my eye because it does have a color so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be grabbing my favorite as of right now setting powder which is a Too Faced ethereal powder and I'm just going to be setting my under eye real quick right here and then we're going to be moving on to the setting powder. Okay I already set my under eye and I'm going to... I'm not going to leave it there a long time because since this is a full coverage concealer, I don't want it to be super matte and look cakey. So I'm just going to be wiping this away. And then moving on, they came out with a Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. This is what it looks like and I got it in the shade Hashtag Filter 3. And this retails for bum, 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 $12. So it's not even expensive. And let me just see. What is that noise? Okay, let me see if it's not broken. Because, ooh, it has a little puffing thing, which I'm not going to be using. So I'm not, I'm not even going to open that side. It does have a protector to protect your shadow. So this is what the shade looks like. It looks a little bit 
light and yellowy so let's hope i really didn't want to set my face because since this foundation is already matte i don't like to set it so i'm just going to be grabbing a little bit and setting where i'm going to be um putting like my contour and all of that and then maybe just a little bit here just so it sets yeah i'm not going to be putting a lot because then i'm going to be looking so cakey okay so oof, i am super matte maybe once we spray it um it'll look a little bit more not that matte and powdery but with that powder it made it look super super matte like extremely matte so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be is I'm going to be doing the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and show you um, what it looks like after a few minutes of doing my makeup to see if it creased or anything so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and I did the rest of my makeup so what do I think of the morphe foundation this is called the morphe fluidity fluidity foundation fluidity so what do I think of it? Um, as of right now, it looks it looks good. It hasn't really set on my lines. Usually foundations, whenever they are too matte, um, they do crease like in my smile lines. Like you can see this one, I'm not seeing it right now. But I'm not seeing it right now. But we're gonna go ahead and check later to see if it changes. So as of right now, I do like this foundation. I like the concealer. The concealer did not crease under my eye. I was kind of impressed because usually when they're full coverage concealers and they dry so quick, they kind of like leave like little lines. This one didn't. So I really like that as well. I love the primer and I really don't care for the powder because since this foundation is already matte I don't feel like I need to set it with a powder so I think I am going to be using this powder with something else because I don't think I'm gonna be using it with this foundation but overall I really do like the foundation I think the price is good so yeah this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and so if you have tried this foundation let me know what you think about it if you like it or if you don't I think this is exactly my shade i kind of like kind of thought it wasn't going to be my shade because it did look lighter on the actual um tubey but i do like it and it does match my skin perfectly so that's a good one okay it's better this is what the foundation looks like right now as you guys can see it is matte and it is so pretty um hi onyx Roxy, Onyx. So this is what it looks like. I really do like it. It does feel matte and yeah, um, this is what it looks like outside. I really do like it. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you're new, um, please make sure you subscribe if you like me and you want to continue seeing uh, my videos and also please hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos so you won't miss any videos that I upload and stay tuned for this look because it is coming very soon. It's my Valentine's look. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.